Well, time to be in uh, our coverage of the post-game content, which basically just means, you know, going on the hunt for, uh, the Chanto Gym badges. Which probably isn't going to take that long, it usually doesn't. Considering most of the gym leaders are, you know, a step down difficulty. Especially the early options you can go after. Like, I think the only interesting one I can think off the top of my head right now is potentially gonna be Misty, because she does have, you know, Quagsire. And I don't have a good out to Quagsire besides just hitting it with return, you know, and hoping we outlast it. And maybe Brock, just because, you know, he has so many gosh darn uh, ground type Pokemon that we're gonna have to hit with, like, fire punches. It's not like Return's gonna work on them, either. I mean, they're, they're made of rock. What do you expect to do with it? But I also imagine the level disadvantage by the time we get to them is gonna be so great that it's not gonna even matter that much. Plus, we can Thunder Punch some of his Pokémon. Like, Amast Omastar and Kabuto Tops. Ow! My ribs! Ugh. Man, so rude. Reminds me of me at my workplace. Yeah, I'm just like, I'll suck in my gut and just try and sc scoot around you if I have to. Like, I have no patience to ask people to move out of my way half the time. I know, it's a jerk move. But some days I'm just in a super hurry, because... I'll have time taken out of what's supposed to be my regular job, you know, to help out the grill team. So I'm trying to haul butt to make up for time lost. As much as possible. Know how it goes. Well, I'll take care of, uh... His first Pokemon. I, I, I know, Stanley's just not very challenging. Let me go from five people like, you know, in their early 50s down to the 30s again. Just why, game? Like, they really need to up these guys' level for this stuff, but it, it is what it is. Like, the, like the, the difficulty curve in this game is just so wonky, you know, it's just like, what, what on earth were they thinking with it? Just, 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 just awful. Like, it ramps up, then tops off, then goes up, and then just dies again. Just like, what on earth is going on here? <sighs> yeah, I know, I can explore the ship and maybe find some more battles or items, but... As far as there's nothing on this ship I really care to have. And finding a bunch of random trainers with weak Pokemon just isn't very appealing. Like, it adds time to the episode, yeah, but... Like, our, our goal is to get the, you know, Vermilion City and deal with Surge. I mean, I ain't got time to waste on this stuff. Like, I know we were doing that, you know, in the previous set of episodes, but... That was so I didn't have to end in a weird spot. Like, right now, I, I have no excuse to waste time. Like... Though I know this run's probably gonna have to be finished up in, like, November. I, I don't think we have enough episodes left to deal with all of, uh, the gym battles. I know we don't. Plus, we lose time to doing the stuff involving Misty. That, like, little side rocket plotline eats up way more time than it deserves. That and the Nugget Bridge trainers are their equivalent. And yeah, I know, I could just swam over here. But I might as well make, you know, Cutter justify its existence. For just a little bit longer. Is probably gonna want to get rid of Cutter sooner rather than later at this point. Yeah, 
Yeah, a bit better than what we just had on the boat, but still. <laughs> Nowhere near good enough. And it's not like it's enough fully evolved Pokemon either, like, come on, it's not even a Raichu. And Lieutenant Sturge's gym, of all places. Like, like you think you'd be like, here's a Thunderstone, use it! No, I guess that's more anime inspired, right? Where he basically followed this Pikachu immediately and then lost to agility. <laughs> It's like he gave up on those speed moves you get later at the later levels. We have an in! Yeah, we never really do learn that much about this war, do we? I know I always talk about it, but it's just, it's just strange, you know? Like, there's a major world war involving Pokémon. And, and presumably guns and stuff. But we never really see the after-effects of it anywhere, like... What towns where got hit, and how? How long ago was this? How old is Lieutenant Surge? Yeah, we just probably fire a bunch away to safety. Oh, going for uh, thunder, huh? It, that wouldn't even paralyze us. Like you can paralyze us with thunder wave, but moves like thunder are not gonna paralyze the Pharaohs. Well, it's not a bad plan. Ouch. That will weaken our defenses for the rest of the fight. It's one of the unspecified uh, other abilities of explosion. But, you know, we'll just try and finish off some of the other targets quickly, I guess. <laughs> Another Electrode, which we can't one-shot. I can hope we get a good hit with Return. Maybe it doesn't have as much special def physical defense. Or just the superior power of Return help carry us. Well, go for a Return Strike. And it's over. Man, the return's so busted in this game. Like, that base power of 102 is just crazy. It's like if every turn Hyper Beam. Oof. And Hyper Beam was nerfed in this gen, too, so we can't even say Hyper Beam is as good as it used to be. Until uh, next time, then. See ya.